This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. Thank you for staying with us, and my name is Elsie Godwin. I'm here with Ifeolu Oshuke and Ewaolu Oshuke. Just Ewaolu Oshuke. Good morning, people. Good morning. Mm. I'm feeling like the sun Did shines. Did you see um, what exactly is shining on your body? The shirt yellow, man. The That's why I feel yellow. like the sunshine. Yeah, I'm feeling like the sunshine. I'm your sunshine in the rain. Am I, am I not? For who? For the both of you. Nah, okay. Yeah, for the tea <laughs> time viewers. <laughs> Okay. Well, maybe for the viewers. For the world. All right, moving to the story. John Legend has been crowned the sexiest man alive by People magazine. Reacting to his latest um, title, the 40-year-old superstar said, and I quote, I was excited, but I was a little scared at the same time because it's a lot of pressure. Everyone is going to be picking me apart to see if I'm sexy enough to hold this title. I'm also following Idris, Idris Elba, which is not fair and is not nice to me, end of quote. Idris Elba was People's Sexiest Man Alive 2018. John Legend is people's 34th sexiest man alive. So, okay. No, you ladies first. <laughs> Do you think you ever get to that? Um, they say a money, um, like um, Laura Kiji said, money brings out your true complexion and beauty. But your own so. complexion is not out yet. Mm -hmm. Your complexion I is not out I don't have the yet. type of money yet, so just relax. Maybe very soon you people will be asking me that Do you bleach, you know, when the... <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how it goes, but um, I think um, sexiness is um, it's not just about your looks, it's not just about um, how your body physique is, it's about your intellect, it's about um, this somebody that has won um, the Eloy Awards and all. Is it Eloy? He's won the Grammys. Yeah, he's won the Grammys. Yeah, yeah he's won five of the major awards. I've forgotten what they actually call it now. Now there's a name for it, but for the life of me, I can't remember now. He's won five awards that only few people have that award. So this is somebody that is intellectual. He's married to one of the smartest women in the world and funniest women in the world. This is somebody that has achieved a lot. He's is, um, is, a, um, is music has sold out all over the world. So I think sexiness in this context is not just about your looks, it's not just about, it's mm. about your achievements and your looks at the same time. Mm. So I know I have the looks, but in terms of the achievements, I'm getting there. Oh, you get there. Thanks, darling. <laughs> you don't okay. think so? For, for, for which one? I see. You said it lost? <laughs> <laughs> Which one exactly? I mean, congratulations to him. I like that he um, talked about Idris Elba. And from what the roots, from what you're saying also, it has to do with his um, relationship with his wife, the way he carries them, mm. the, way he, the way he behaves, actually. And they also talked about his humility, that he's a very humble person. Mm. Um, the kind of humility you do expect from some, uh, someone like John Legend, but uh, he used to be very, he's very humble and he... He said that he got that from his dad because his dad told him that no matter how successful or how big you become or you think you are, humility is the first thing you must not let go of. So mm. that's a good one. And congratulations to him. I think he deserves it. Yeah. I mean, this is he's one of the people that would actually teach you how to love. So, yeah. That's good. You know, he missed his flight. He flew yeah. from London to, um, was it? He was supposed to be going to Washington, but went to another yeah. state. I think just I know what she said. Yeah. They've yeah, just been, so. couple They've been couple goals. goals, goals yeah. You know, everybody look up to, yeah. Yeah. Couple so. goals. And so I think that's think good. I think that's good. It. And he deserves it. Mm. Yeah. And then the people, um, The Rock, um, Idris Elba, Chris Hemsworth, now John Legend, you know, and the list goes on and on and on and on. And before you know it, you'll be fellow. Okay, no, I mean. And I mean, I think they've never missed it, mm -hmm. to be honest. They yeah, they, they always give the people that yeah, are well that deserved. Are it, yeah. mm. All right, um, moving on to the next story. A Twitter user has accused Ron Town of being stingy because he does not do giveaways. He responded to the accusation with a very simple but popular phrase, brother, brother man, Hozulu. Yeah. Make you so, no go the beg for giveaway on Twitter. He didn't complete it though, but we don't complete our <laughs> form. Where, where no, we don't complete our form. Make you not know oh. go the beg for nah, giveaway on Twitter. Oh my sale, don't do it, then give it away. <laughs> I mean, I people think need so to many stop Speaking of Naira Mali, um, I saw you do the tattoo of the um, 26th of um, 
the same but do the tattoo yes on your body now blood of yes. jesus so that you won't forget you know she's a proper malian so and then the night the don't worry we we know we know, you are, we, we know Why what you deny? okay that is what daddy was sorry she didn't do that daddy first <laughs> i'm not a fan of tattoo but yeah Naramali's concert is coming true. Yeah. 26th, uh, no, 30th of December. 30th, I agree. Mm. Can you we see? come back to Run Town? Okay, so <laughs> Run Town, um, I like this one because a lot of people just wait for celebrities to do giveaways. Like, that's part of their job to mm. be doing giveaways. Well, that's uh, what they owe you. Yeah, you if, I'm not, if I'm not running um, a company where I'm allowed to do giveaways or where I can actually do things that I or giveaways, or I'm not promoting a song at the moment. Why do you expect me? If I'm saying, okay, do a challenge for um, what's that is song? Galad, Galado with David Doe. Mm. Let's assume he was doing that period of Galado with David Doe, and I'm saying, okay, do the Galado dance challenge, and then now you'll be getting on Drake. It's a different thing entirely, but you just don't expect me to wake up as a celebrity to say that I'm doing giveaways. Do. I mean, I was People even going to say, it. it's a personal thing. If I want to do giveaways, yeah, I'll, I'll you do don't it. even have to be a celebrity to do giveaways. Mm -hmm. You can just feel like giving out to people, and then you say, but they drop your account on Yeah, don't put pressure like, on people. It's not by mm -hmm. force. It's not like everybody yeah. must do it. Some people do it to grow their page. Some mm -hmm. people if if I have and no reason to grow the page. Yeah. If if I have no reason to do giveaway, why should I do giveaway? People need to calm down, man. You're begging. If if you need something, just be Beg, and, and, hey, and don't be saying don't I'm stingy. Say, do you get that guy was what do you very mean? <laughs> Okay, it's time for a quick break. We'll return. There is so much more to discuss in the world of entertainment. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. Sorry, up for conversation is on tone to decay. She reacted to DJ Copy receiving a donation of five billion naira from her father, Femi Otedola, for Copy Foundation. The sum was donated to the children of Bono, Adamawa, and Castina, or is it Katsina, through Katsina. the Save the Children project. So we had this conversation when it happened, right? And mm -hmm. now to decay wants Otedola to bless the children through all that working, quote and unquote, foundation. She wrote and I quote, no, 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 I'm not angry. I'm just here wondering what my father was doing when Dangote was becoming rich. I need to know if he just went to God for a fine face, cause man's superficial, superficial heart and forgot to ask for money. 11 years in foundation, spending my own money without help and boom, one with one leg and one minute experience. Last, last, it's who has money, not who has passion. God bless Otedola for the next generation he's about to bless. I just wish you bless them also through other working foundations, end of quotes. Yeah, no this is all shades of wrong. As in all shades of wrong. In, in any way you want to look at, in word. any way, this is just so wrong. First, it's not a competition. Two, it's not about it does not matter what foundation Please, is let me doing add it. Three. Let me add the three. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> begs you to open foundation. God bless you. And then let me <laughs> add the four. Let me add the four. Yeah. Relig um, bringing religion into this. Why are you questioning God? Do you understand? No, why is this God say? Why are you questioning your father? Go, go and meet him and question him. I house. mean, what, what? I don't I don't understand. Now, it's like what people say that most of these people that own foundation are using it for business. Apparently, I'm the people. Okay, so <laughs> I saw, I saw um, Yetunde Bakri's um, comment. comment on this one, mm -hmm. and she said that... Uh, most of this foundation has come anyway, which is true because uh, at the end of the day, if, out of if there are other, I'm not talking about copy right now. I'm mm. talking about other foundations that will probably get the same five billion. They'll probably put one billion into the horse and mm. then keep four billion for their personal 
selfish mm. interest. So um, I'm not saying that I'm fully in support of what you today said, but there's an atom of truth in it. Yeah. And besides, she's somebody that is in the industry and she has seen what a lot of people are doing with this foundation. Mm -hmm. So um, Tonto, anytime she wants attention, she just jumps on what is trending and that is just sad. So I think I agree I with think you. She should just, this, uh, this is just for attention and this is just to be, I, 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 is she and begging for begging. money? Uh, yeah. yeah, she should just she go just straight, go straight. Just write a letter to him. I mean, he's a nice man. He has done Who cares so, if you have been putting so your money into a foundation? Yeah. The fact that um, Nobody DJ Coffee is privileged to, to have a rich father who is putting five billion. You, foundations are not supposed to be by your parents to even start with. It's supposed to be your personal money, supposed to be sponsors. If you have a good cause, people will sponsor you with more, with more than 5 billion naira. So maybe you're not doing something right. So check yourself before you come here and wreck yourself. I mean, if you're even genuine about I'm it. <laughs> no, but for real, if, she, if what she's doing, if she's genuine about it, it's not about how much you're putting into it. It's not, it's about how many people you're helping. Like, I mean, you don't even have to have all the money. You get, you don't have, even you've if it's just two one people. person, you've two kids I mean, your the conscience world. will judge you that you've done something for the world. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why she put this out there because it's just really wrong. Very wrong. I think she should Can apologize. Can we just move on because I'm getting upset. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, what she wrote, yeah. I mean, if we don't want to go so deep, I think she should have just stopped at the point where she said, before she said that um, he should help other foundations or something, I think she shouldn't have gotten there at all. But everything and she, she shouldn't have even mentioned the eleven year experience. I mean, one like day in is, it, is foundation, foundation about experience. Nobody forced you to have a foundation to start. Hmm. You decided and said you are passionate <laughs> about helping whoever it is you're helping, mm. and then you started the foundation. But like you said, whether it is two people or five people. I mean, there are people that don't even have a registered foundation. Yeah. And the number of people they help mm. daily, the number of people they make sure to teach how to um, catch fish and not just giving them fish mm. is so much that you want to tell them at some point, sure you will not just open foundations. You know. They will just know you have a foundation. Like, that is what they live for and that is how they find fulfillment, mm. right? And I think we need more people like that. Coming to tell us that you've done it for 11 years and that someone is getting, so you should help Maybe other foundations. Are you trying to say money. that Copies Foundation is not going to get the job done? Like, what is she trying to say? I think this is totally wrong. I know there are times I've supported on the DK stand and all that mm. and what she's saying. But you see on this one, on this one there's she no, did not have mm. the rights. I don't even know where she's coming about with the one minute and last last Yeah, like, what is that what, what foundation's what, about? What is she know, talking about? Was she trying to drag on. her ex-husband into the conversation? I mean, I think she should get her thinking cap right mm. and say better things because this is just so wrong. So it is wrong. too wrong. And it, I need another word for wrong. She it's needs a manager. Right. Bad gun. <laughs> Oh, terrible. Oh, terrible, yeah. Oh, what disgusting. Oh, what disgusting. Actually, oh, what disgusting. Oh, what appalling. <laughs> so, I mean, don't you decay. If you did this to be talked about, this is too wrong. And I don't think, I don't think this is one of those things she did. I think she, she really meant yeah, what she, she put meant down there. I think mm. she needs to go back, sit down, reevaluate herself. I, I, I hope she deletes this I post. I know it is, if I even if she deletes it, it has gone it's to everywhere. Everywhere. But I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong in, you started a, um, a foundation and you feel like you want to shut it down, you're tired, you can shut it down. It's not, nobody's going to kill you. Yeah, because so if, you, if you need to go back, start. go back to the drawing board and ask yourself the right questions. Why did I start this foundation? Mm. If it's too Am I fulfilled? Money, then you need to stop. Are you fulfilled? If you're not fulfilled, then you need to stop. We all don't need to have foundations. If you mm. think you are very passionate and you want to help a particular cause, you can look for a working foundation. Let me borrow your language mm. and give them the money you have. If it's five hundred thousand naira, you're able to give them in a year. It is something you've done you something, something good. So. Mm. Having a foundation for 11 years, you can end it now so that next year you're not going to have 12 years on our head. Thank you very much in advance. All right. Moving, moving on. on. <laughs> Zlatan Ibile is in shock, according to bloggers, as Davido's, um, it, Davido puts 15 million naira chain on his neck. Me, I did not see the shock. That's why I said, <laughs> according to bloggers. Um, according, no. In case you saw the in shock. His, in his post, he said, um, he said something like, um, why do you love me mm. so much, mm. David? Yeah, that's like... The shock, yeah, I was like, looking at the video. No, the video too, and I was wondering what with the video was whispering. After I give you this chain, guy, just go drop and back for us. You know, see this one now, just for publicity stunt to just. 
That's not David. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's not David. I'm just joking. I don't know why I was whispering. My own is not but, the shock. Hmm? The shock came on social media. The shock no, I think it was from his comments. Him. And then David O actually posted something where he said that uh, when he first brought um, Zlatan to Dubai mm-hmm. about a year ago, no one knew him. And now he's done the, the biggest hottest artist, hottest in, Africa. artist in Africa. Mm-hmm. And I think that is so true because Zlatan is doing so well for himself. Mm-hmm. He's very consistent. He's been putting it out there. Mm-hmm. Back to back. I don't think back. can dispute that at all. As in, like, back all to I'm saying back. Is he was not shocked. You, you can't be so sure, actually. From the video that I saw with my own eye, I did I, not see the shock. Okay. There's no... Okay, imagine somebody just... Even if it's not up to 40k. Did you see the next video that um, the video posted of Aluma in um, Dubai? Or I don't know where they all met. No, that's it. I mean, when you use some adjective to qualify some actions, it just needs to rhyme. I'm all, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he's not happy. I'm not saying he's not surprised, but... From his post, it's a shock. It's, like, why do you love me so much? Mm, that's me being shocked that why would somebody love me so much to put $40,000 yeah, no, And right. when I, when yeah, I saw it, I just smiled. Right I, I was not so surprised because it's David. I mean, he can do anything. And it, when it comes to giving out, you'll be mm. surprised. Somebody might just be going on the road and David will just see that person and give the person something and it's a good thing and i mean said, keep the good um, work going to Zlat and he said you will give him another gift the next yeah day. tomorrow and then he put the surprise <laughs> so that's where the shock came from hmm. mm. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't wait for the gift you know okay. maybe to be a band I'm yeah not, I'm scam, but i don't know why i'm not shocked i mean me that i've not even received one couple from the video i'm not shocked because we had the conversation of him um spending some huge amounts of money mm, to get um jeans and all for these people so that's why i'm i mean i'm very happy with what i i also like the genuine happiness coming from davido when he's seen an artist like Zlatan from him, people mm. like Peruzzi that have come from him. I mean, you can count a handful of people now that David O has helped come into the industry. Mm. Do you understand? So I think I, I admire that about him. He's not just about himself, himself, No, himself, because we rise by lifting, lifting others. So, and he's really I mean, rising. I, I admire is, that um, about him. And kudos to David O. Mm. Um, he's a... Is he well, well now? Pockets never run dry. Which one are we using? This is well. Okay, in fact. never run dry. <laughs> no pocket. <laughs> it's time for a quick break. But when we come back, we'll have just one more story to discuss. So we'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm-hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. On to the last conversation for this episode. Ghanaian man caught on video burning the Holy Bible. Um, the unidentified man in the video is seen burning the Bible in the open and bragging that nothing bad can happen to him because there is no power in the Bible, as Christians claim. Um, he says he respects and fears one of the popular gods in Ghana than the Bible. It's not me that's going to mention the name of their god. Because I don't. No, <laughs> but uh, I mean. If you don't believe the Bible, if you don't believe that the Bible is strong enough, why not just focus Stay on your focus? Stay away from it. You don't need to be this dramatic. And then, you know, another it's thing totally that unnecessary. Me. If it was an atheist that um, put out this video, at least I'll say you don't believe in any God. Mm. But you believe in a God 
Mm. Do you understand? And, and the then God that believes in God. The, God. Do you, the fact that you actually believe in a God, you're a religious person already. Mm. So allow people to dwell on their religion. Allow people to believe in whatever God they want to believe in without having to do this. Nobody has gone to your shrine of your popular God to go and burn it no. because we don't believe. So but I think some people are, not, are just very um, ignorant. I think this is the height of ignorance. And then that's just all I'm going to say about the story. This is a very ignorant man. And um, I think in this video, is they were just daring each other, actually. Because mm. um, someone that understood what they were saying was saying, mm. like, you can't do it, you cannot do it, stuff and like that. And then he decided and, to do and it. And then he decided to do it. Under the influence of whatever they own. I like how you two are crying. <laughs> they are finishing the statement for each other. No, well, because John. it's just... Like if I said, it's ignorance. If mm. you don't believe in other people's religion, you don't have to come out and prove anything. You don't have to bring anything down to show that what you believe in is real or is genuine. Mm. I mean, let people live and live and let others live. live. I think, think for my fellow Christians, we don't, for me, real Christians will understand that the Bible, the book itself, is just a book. It's a story book until you actually believe that um, Jesus is your Lord and personal Savior and mm. read the Bible with conviction in your heart, mm. then it becomes powerful for you. But if you're not on that level and you're carrying the book up and down, it's just it's history. Just a book. It's just a book. So you need the Holy Spirit to actually minister to you and explain the scriptures to you for you to understand it I like that. from the angle mm. of the Holy Spirit. But if you're not on that level, I agree with you. It is a book. I mean, it is history. Everywhere in the book or in the Bible, if you travel to Jerusalem, them to Egypt and everywhere. They are, they are there. It's it's a it's history. They make money from it for tourism and all that, right? So if you're not on that level, don't no need to argue. We are not arguing with you. Yes, it is a book, it's a story book. When you get to the level of understanding the things of the spirit, then you know that this is go on prophetess mm -hmm. prophetess Elsie in I'm the just LC, I'm not a prophetess. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you for the accolades, but I'm not John Legend. I'm not taking it. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Wow, well, that's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and remember, you can watch this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television and also here on Out to TV. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ewa Olubaritu and Ifeolu Washukaye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin. Saying thank you for watching and see you later.